Before time itself had a meaning, there was nothing. A void of infinite density. Then, a flash. The universe was born in a silent explosion of pure energy. An event we call the Big Bang. In the first trillionth of a second, the fundamental forces separated, and the elementary particles, the building blocks of everything, sprang into existence. But in that first incandescent moment, a cosmic mystery was born, a crime against the laws of physics as we knew them. The equations predicted that all these new particles should be massless, flying apart at the speed of light, forever unable to form atoms, stars or galaxies. The universe should have been a thin, featureless soup of energy. It should have remained empty. Yet, here we are. Something invisible, a universal field permeating all of space, acted like a cosmic molasses. It grabbed onto some particles, slowing them down, giving them substance, giving them mass. It was this mysterious event that allowed matter to clump together to form the stars, the planets, and us. For nearly 50 years, this field was just a ghost in the equations. A phantom force, crucial for our existence, yet completely undetectable. So, how do you catch a ghost? How do you prove something exists when you can't see it, touch it, or measure it directly? You recreate the crime scene. You build a machine powerful enough to wind back the clock 13.8 billion years and recreate down, the energy of the Big Bang itself. Forming the first protons and neutrons. To mimic the birth of the universe, you first need an arena, a racetrack of epic proportions. Deep beneath the peaceful countryside of France and Switzerland lies a circular tunnel 27 kilometers around. This is the path the universe's smallest messengers will travel. To build it, engineers had to bore through mountains and under ancient riverbeds, creating one of the largest civil engineering projects in history. But the true marvel lies within. Over 9,000 superconducting magnets, painted a distinct industrial blue, line the entire ring. They form the invisible walls of the trap. But an arena is useless without the gladiators, the messengers that will race within it. Easy now, bring it down another five degrees. Confirmed, seating position looks good. The messengers in this cosmic race are protons, the hearts of hydrogen atoms. The hunt begins with a simple bottle of hydrogen gas. Its atoms are stripped of their electrons and the protons are sent on a journey. They don't just enter the 27-kilometer ring immediately. They are passed through a chain of smaller, older accelerators, like runners in a cosmic relay race. With each step, they are kicked by powerful electric fields, gaining more and more energy. This chain reaction is the catapult, accelerating the protons to 99.9% .9 of their final speed before they are finally unleashed into the main ring of the LHC. The messengers are now in the arena, traveling at near light speed. But to see the secrets they hold, you need to witness the moment of impact. You need the most powerful cameras ever conceived.
Deep underground, in man-made caverns the size of cathedrals, the detectors were built. Giants like Atlas and CMS, five stories yeah, tall, weighing more than the Eiffel Tower, right wrapped in millions of sensors and miles of wiring. They are not cameras in the traditional sense. They are digital temples, designed to track the paths of thousands of particles created in a collision that lasts for less than a trillionth of a trillionth of a second. Each layer is a different type of sensor, a different net in the trap. The innermost layers act like a high-speed digital camera, tracking charged particles. Further out, calorimeters measure their energy. The outermost layers are giant muon chambers, designed to catch the only particles that can punch through all the other layers. They are the ultimate witnesses. The trap is now set. The arena is cold. The messengers are racing. The eyes are open. It is time for the hunt to begin. Inside the ring, two beams, each containing trillions of protons, are now traveling in opposite directions at 99.99999991%. The speed of light. For hours they race, guided by the invisible magnetic walls. And then, the detectives give the command. The beams are steered into a head-on collision Initiating inside the heart of the giant detectors. Protocols. 600 million All times per second, two protons slam into notice. each other. In that infinitesimal moment, Einstein's E equals mc squared becomes reality. The kinetic energy of the collision is converted back into matter, creating a fleeting fireball of exotic, short-lived particles that haven't existed naturally since the dawn of time. The aftermath is a beautiful, chaotic storm of data. Most of the particles created are common, well understood, but the detectives are looking for something else. A rare and specific decay pattern. A faint, elusive signal. They are listening for a whisper, an echo from the moment of creation itself. The collisions create a data deluge, enough information to fill 100,000 DVDs every single second. Powerful algorithms act as the first filter, throwing away 99.99% of the data, keeping only the most interesting collisions. It is a search for a needle in a cosmic haystack. Scientists sift through the remaining data, looking for a very specific signature. The ghost they are hunting, the Higgs boson, decays almost instantly into more common particles. Like two high-energy photons, the detectives are not looking for the ghost itself, but for its footprints. For years, the hunt continued. And then, on July 4, 2012, after analyzing quadrillions of collisions, the teams at Atlas and CMS both saw it. A statistically significant bump in their data at 125 giga electron volts. The footprints were real. The announcement was made. The ghost had been caught. The missing piece of the standard model had finally been found. 
they had found the reason we and everything around us can exist. But catching one ghost only revealed the shadows of others. What is dark matter? What is dark energy? The hunt at CERN is far from over. The detectives have solved one case, but the universe we have has plenty a new more. Particle consistent with the Higgs boson. Yes. Oh my goodness, congratulations everyone.